Posterior pelvic tilt is killing your handstand development. And by the end of this video, you'll be hand balancing like beast from Marvel. Lee Weiland, Pacific Rim Athletics, creator of Powerbatics, and welcome to training. Now stop listening to all these online fitness gurus and celebrities posting clips of all their fancy poses. Listen, here's how this stuff works. They research what people are searching for and then make videos about a topic such as posterior pelvic tilt, creating a trend that evolves into a fad. And they've gone and done it with the alleged banana handstand trying to say that this is bad and then turned posterior pelvic tilt into the new fashionable trend. Listen, posterior pelvic tilt will not help you with your handstand. It's an advanced angle that requires superior shoulder mobility, wrist strength, and massive upper body and core strength. People talk about this being better for the lower back and I agree to an extent and I'll tell you why in a second. But trying to start here with a hollow body handstand, which is what posterior pelvic tilt is, is like trying to balance a skyscraper on your index finger. Whether you're using the wall or freestanding, you're gonna end up stuck with one to two second holds at best or on your head with a sore neck. You see, sometimes historical trends are also macrocosmic of what people experience individually. The handstand was originally arched. You can see all kinds of old pictures of this going all the way back to the Middle Ages. And over time, it became stacked, which allows for other skills. And that's exactly how people learn it, not just starting stacked. If you're a beginner, a CrossFit handstand walker, age 6 to 60 or even all the way up to advanced in general fitness, you'll need to pay attention. And I'm known for being blunt about stuff from mindset to physical training. And I won't hold back here either. You can obviously subscribe, but you can also opt in. So if Google ever goes away, you can stay connected. So dive into our universe. As in all my videos, it starts with your mind. I'll get to the anatomy and progressions in a minute, but you need to change this part first. There's a very famous quote that says, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. There's a direct sanctification context to this, but at the same time, it applies to all areas including your physical training. You will not improve by watching the glossy, sugar-coated videos trying to make everything look easy or with people demonstrating in a way that is not how they really learned it. Transform your mind and then start making progress. Life is ugly and so are handstands when you're learning. Let it be. Now that the most important element is taken care of, you should be starting with 60-second frog stands. Period. End of video. Actually, this is going to force hip mobility and forearm slash grip strength because you're actually palming the ground. And this is your true foundation, not wall handstands, walks, headstands, or anything else. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Once you can do a frog stand for 60, you might even start simultaneously doing this. You need to just play. Best example I can think of is capoeira. Just play like a child. You'll wanna do kickups and then walk around a little bit. And it's okay to fall, just fall to your feet or roll out. And once you can walk around like a toddler upside down with your legs all flailing around, super ugly, then and only then should you start working on static. And we don't just sell courses where 95% of people either won't even start it, or if they do, they get stuck. We've helped thousands of people at this point, step by step. And here's some of that process. In the frog stand, your body is actually in a pike position. But as soon as you start going upside down, your pack is gonna go into an arch. So stop listening to all these people whining about posterior pelvic tilt and back pain and correct alignment, blah, blah, blah. Listen, they've done scientific studies on contortionists and their spines are perfectly healthy and they can do extremely arched handstands. If you have back pain, you shouldn't be doing upside down work or even going on the wall. You should be building the V stand and the front lever through tons and tons of core work like the 100 hollow rock workout. Now I've been in that boat and I can do hollow backs with a very arched back with no issue. And the way I teach is handstands from all angles so that you can really master it, including the hollow handstand with posterior pelvic tilt. What's the use of doing long wall handstands and eventually a flawless two second freestanding handstand if you can't control it up or down or in motion? To me, a person that can kick up into a, even a 10 second handstand with perfect posterior pelvic tilt doesn't truly have handstands on demand from all angles. So after your frog stands, dowel work for your shoulders, bridges, kickups, and walking around a bit, your first handstand is gonna be ugly, and that's okay, don't worry about it. 
You'll probably have bent arms and bent legs, maybe a small arch in your back. Don't worry, your soul isn't gonna vaporize because you have an arched back or an ugly handstand. You're gonna be able to slowly, over time, start polishing it like a sculpture. Through practice, gaining control from all angles, just like a sculptor using all of his tools. Honestly, the more control you have here, the more you're gonna be able to start working on other positions, including the posterior pelvic tilt. So stop listening to fitness people online. I can't even stand the word fitness. Fitness. We run a company with doctorate physical therapists on staff and athletes doing elite level strength and skills and we're not going to sugarcoat it. But you have to get off the videos and book a call to talk to a real team who can help you. Not AI robots, not algorithms, not trendy posterior pelvic tilt handstands. We do make videos that will be coming up on the screen right now just so you can get a taste but they're not sugarcoated. Training isn't easy. Just as you know if it was easy everybody would be a master at it. See you in the next video or hopefully training soon.